Also new at four today, TCAP testing will begin for some school districts across the state next month. This standardized test is for third through 11th grade students. It happens every year. Some parents, though, feel it shouldn't this time around, given the unprecedented school year brought on by the pandemic. New at four, reporter Blake Stevens looks at some of the concerns parents have about TCAP testing. He joins us now in the studio. So, Blake, what does this mean for students still learning from home? Well, Lori, a spokesperson for Knox County Schools tells me the state requires TCAP testing be in person. She says students in virtual learning programs will be contacted by their school with a scheduled time to take the exam. Many parents are struggling with the idea of bringing their children to school during a pandemic. Now, Cassie Ogle has two elementary school students who are still learning from home. One of her daughters is set to take the TCAP for the first time this year. Ogle is frustrated it has it has to be in person because she says her daughter was able to take other tests this year virtually. And because the pandemic isn't over and because of the stress the test will bring, she has not decided if she'll bring her daughter to take it. It's just really, it's really hard to make that decision. We signed a contract that said that we would take them in. You know, we, our hands were tied behind our back. Either if you wanted to do virtual school, you had to sign that contract that you would take them in for standardized testing. I asked about repercussions for families who do not send their students at that scheduled time. That KCS spokesperson wrote, we are not aware of any repercussions for families. The state requires districts to test 80% of its students, but can request a waiver. All right, well, districts may administer TCAP testing on different dates. The state ordered four options to give the state assessments. The first round of testing begins April 12th.